One of the quickest drops in new home prices took place back during 2007 to 2009, when we saw the median sales price for new houses in the United States fall about 25% over the course of two years. We've actually had a very similar occurrence happen here over the last year and a half. We peaked at the end of 2022, new home prices were almost 500,000 and now they're almost 400,000, losing about 20% of its value during that time frame. The crazy piece of all of this is the home builders are still pushing and making new highs. Here's the home builder ETF chart and you can see all of this year and even from the end of last year, we've had that breakout and that extreme push higher. So what exactly is going on here? Well, one of the things that happened during that 2020 run up was we saw the prices of goods especially materials for building soar. So we had OSB board selling at an extreme price. If you remember the price of lumber went up almost a thousand percent and this caused that medium new home price to really rise because home builders had to spend a bunch of extra capital in order to build those houses. Now, as those input costs have decreased, home builders have been able to lower the prices of their new builds, but at the same point in time, keep those margins and demand for new houses is still extremely high because we have a huge deficit of housing in this country. Rental prices are still through the roof and there is more demand for housing than we have housing available and that is causing the home builder still to continue to head higher. Now this is something we definitely want to continue to pay attention to because if this trend continues where we see home prices continue to drop, that will eventually start to play into the home builder's profit and that could cause a turnaround for them. So we're going to watch this very closely but I just wanted to give you guys an update as to why we're seeing home prices drop, but home builders still continuing to go higher.